what is the binding energy in MeV of 7,3 lithium? So, 7,3 lithium with a mass of 7.016003 U. Okay, so for 7,3 lithium, we have a Z of 3. Z, this number here, is always the number of protons. That what's, that, that's what defines what element this is. A, it's not 4, is 7. is 7, that is this number here, and that is the total number of particles in the nucleus. So protons plus, nu plus neutrons. And then we all, we generally, unless this is a plus or a minus here, we generally have the same amount of electrons as our protons. So we can say n, our number of neutrons, equals a minus z, which is equal to 4. So we have 4 neutrons in this nucleus. Okay. Now we're asked what the binding energy is. Binding energy equals delta m, our mass defect, c squared. Now c squared is the speed of light squared, but we don't actually have to use uh, the meters per second speed of light. We'll have a constant. c squared in MeV is 931.5. mega electron volts per U. So that's what C squared is. It's constant. Okay. We need to find out our mass defect, the change in mass. So basically, um, this gives us our mass of lithium, but the mass of its components together is something different. So when they combine, they release some energy. So the energies are different. There's a mass defect. So I'll define my delta M my mass defect as my total mass minus the mass of lithium. So this is the mass of all the sum of these components minus the mass given here. Okay, so our total mass is going to be equal to, now like I said we got three protons, four neutrons, and some electrons and stuff. But we can model it as the mass of hydrogen, because the mass of hydrogen has three protons, sorry, three protons, one proton, one electron, okay? So that, that's, that's our hydrogen. So if we have three of these, that accounts for three of our protons, and three of our electrons, okay? So all we have left is our neutrons, we have four of those, plus four times the mass of a neutron, okay? And the reason I say hydrogen is that's a generally known thing, you can find that constant in your textbook. I'll write that here. Mass of hydrogen is equal to what? That is one point zero zero seven. 825U. Okay, the mass of a neutron is 1.008665U. Okay, those are the numbers that I'm going to use in here. I'll just kind of say that's what one of those mass of hydrogen is. So, total mass is equal to 3 times mass of hydrogen, 4 times mass of neutron. So, let's say delta M is now mass total. So, 3 times the mass of hydrogen, uh, 1.007825. 1.007825U. Okay, that's our mass of hydrogen. Plus 4 times mass of neutron, 1.008665.008665U, okay, minus the mass of the lithium, now the mass of the lithium is given 7.016003U. So our mass defect, or delta M, after we multiply those through, do that, is 
1, 3, 2, U. So that's our delta M. So binding energy equals delta M of 0 0.042132U times C squared of 931.5 MeV per U. Okay, so that gives us a binding energy in MeV of 39.2 or .2 MeV, and that is your final answer.